Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So I did film a video on me setting up my temporary praying mantis tank and it got deleted while it was transferring from my phone to my laptop. So anyways, even though it was temporary, I needed to get a bigger one anyway. So at Walmart, I saw this for five bucks and this is big enough. It's like maybe too big, but there's no such thing as too big for a orchid mantis. And so you guys are gonna see how I will set this up. So what you'll need is a container of some sort, some eco earth, and this is kind of dry. So you're gonna wanna moisten that. Some sort of fiber thing to put on the top of the container so that the fruit flies don't come out in eating unless you wanna feed them another container, but still you need a top. You can poke Liz in here, but since I do feed her in the same container, I will be using polyester fiber and just taking a rubber band and then clipping it on. And some decoration. Alright guys, so I set up my mason jar, there's a lot of space in the back, but the front is busy, which I kind of like because then it's like, you know, it looks complex. So I cut the filter pad to fit the top with a rubber band. Um, it's not perfect, but I don't care. And then, you know, I cut them with some scissors, obviously, because what else you're going to cut them with. And instead of a rubber band, I bounce. Nice. I found this bracelet. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the bracelet to put this on there. But before we close it, we have to put our prey mantis in, obviously, and we have to spray it down because prey mantis is like humidity. You don't wanna moisten it this much. However, my soil is not moist, so I need to moisten it because I have a plant in here that needs moist soil. I realized that this is way too wet for a prey mantis, so I'm going to let this sit overnight until tomorrow after school so like three o'clock and then i will put my mantis in so that this evaporates and or settle down so that the humidity will lower and i highly recommend if you have one for a reptile you could just use it in here i highly recommend getting one of these the temperature one on mine is broken i don't it never changes it's always there this one the high the what's this called the hygrometer 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 i know it's not a hydrometer because hydrometer is for a fish tank um, this I highly recommend because then you get to like see what humidity is in their tank. Obviously, your girl did it way too much. So basically, the water has either evaporated or gone down. The humidity is at 70. And you want to keep their humidity between 50 and 70. I will place right up here or down here what the actual one is just in case you're getting it wrong. But this is the enclosure. And now, the only thing that's left is to put 
Maury in here. See how tiny he is compared to this enclosure. Like, this is so small, and then he is right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on so that you guys never miss a video. Have a great day. See you later.